We are joined once again by real estate agent John Bai, who's sorting through the data with us this morning. Let's start with upzoning because the Seattle yeah. City Council made a big decision last night, unanimous vote, uh, and this is really going to change more than two dozen neighborhoods. We're going to see taller buildings, affordable housing. Mm -hmm. How is that going to impact the, the housing market, do you think? Yeah, so obviously more the more the merrier when it comes to availability. You know, we have really um, crunched pieces of lands and opportunities for us to go up. Yep. And usually you want to go up in the areas where there's more people. And so it's not surprising that you're seeing a lot of this happen within the city of Seattle. Um, I think it's going to be great if you're a property owner. Um, I think that this is going to be value adds for a lot of people who already own real estate. Mm -hmm. Also over time though, more opportunities for folks to get into the market though. There's a lot of this where there's, you know, they're make, trying to create more options for some more affordable housing. Right, right. But it's, it's say that, you know, this upzone, you know, plan does what it's supposed to do over the next 10 years. You mm -hmm. get taller buildings in 27 neighborhoods, it's more dense. What does that do to property values with that kind of, you know, development? Yeah, well, your property values are still gonna increase. That's gonna mm -hmm. still be good. When we talk about um, them going higher, you're gonna have more ability, more availability, so you'll see more sales, but also you'll see as that continues to push people a little bit further away from some of those denser areas, creates a ripple effect. Not everybody wants to be in those, um, so they're not willing to pay that high premium to be in the core, um, but as that happens, they will start to increase the further out you go. So meaning that it could push people into the outlying Seattle area, so oh, north, definitely. south, that kind of thing. Yeah, and you're already seeing that, um, mm -hmm. and now you might see that at a higher rate, depending, you know, some folks that are living in a neighborhood where you know, you might see some taller buildings. You might be like, well, this is the last straw and maybe I'm gonna, you know, right. go to a different area. But with so many people moving here though, there's a huge demand um, for this type of housing. So right. I think it's great. And we're talking about spillover too. That's yeah. a, a basically kind of a technical term that you use when you talk about how people getting priced out of one market, maybe move to the a city further north. Yep. Um, Kirkland to Bothell, for example, yes. we were talking about. Um, are we seeing that more now than ever you feel like? Definitely. Yeah. Um, with constraints for people moving here, um, more and more, and it's probably not going to stop. Um, the rate of which our city is growing is just incredible. There's a delay effect too, right? Yeah. So yeah. what happens big in the city of Seattle spills over eventually. Correct. Yeah. Good so news see, for people like us who live outside the city too, right? Right. You, we see it in yeah. our backyards. Mm -hmm. You know, we see things changing. We see larger development projects in areas that you would not expect to see things like that. Um, you know, smaller pockets of other communities, which um, are important though for growth in right. a city. So. Yeah. Okay. So a couple seconds left. Yep. Uh, one word you describe the housing market right now today. Ooh. Um, Exciting. 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 Very yeah, nice. Like that. One word to describe the weather. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. No, it is amazing. <laughs> okay. John, bye. Thanks so much. We appreciate it with John L. Scott yes. Realty. Thanks for having me.